Hey again, guys. Do you know what I like to do after I have a good trip to the dentist? I like to look at some baseball cards. Hey, man, I just checked out Dave Blue Jacket 66's video. And, man, he showed that rare. Well, I don't want to give it away. You should check it out. But one of my all-time favorite sets. I got two pickups, and I wanted to share them with you. One is from that set. Uh, I didn't get his name at the National, but there was a really nice dealer I bought a card or two from, and I had forgotten my glasses, so I had to keep borrowing people's glasses to check out cards, and he was kind enough uh, to give me a give me a pair along with a, a case for them. So I don't know if you're watching, but thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking to you, and this was really nice and kind, and I thank you for it. So I got two really nice pieces I want to show you. One is the Sweet Capital pin from 1910 to 12. And this is the Eddie Collins. I have a near set of these. Did not have the Eddie Collins. Now they make it in the large letters too. And I'd like to add that one. But my first priority is to get one from every player. And then I could go back and get the other version if I want. And I got this great Colgan's chip. And this is a beauty. And this is Heine Zimmerman. He won the Triple Crown... I want to say 1912, maybe 1913. And in 1919, uh, Hal Chase went to the Giants. And he and Hal Chase uh, got together to throw some games. And he was kicked off the Giants and never played baseball again. But a good hitter. A beautiful example of that Colgan's. So, you know, I always joke around that uh, I tell my wife I pay $3 for all my cards. Well, I didn't know that she ever watched any of my videos, but apparently she watched my, <laughs> my convention video where I say that uh, I didn't spend my money, so I came home and bought a bunch of stuff on eBay. And I think the cat's out of the bag. <laughs> she texts me, you bought more cards? But uh, <clears throat> anyway, she knows I don't pay three dollars. It's just one of those. Uh, it's one of those tacit agreements where I tell her that, and she pre she pretends like she believes me. So that's a sign of a good marriage, right there. Hey guys, as always, thanks for watching.